Hi guys, this is Erin Marie and this is Is A Look. Hey! Um, so today I'll be showing you guys what I purchased at Ulta. Um, Ulta isn't available in Canada, but when I was in the States last week, I picked up a couple of products which I'm wanting to show you guys. So if you want to see what I have here, stay tuned. be showing you guys is this toner here. It's the Thayer's Astringent Witch Hazel um, in the original scent and you can find this, honestly you can find it in Canada. Oops, this product was 20% off when I picked it up and it comes in many different scents. Essentially Witch Hazel is really good at calming down the skin and all toners in general are really good at kind of like resetting the pH balances which is really nice because essentially what that means is that it's going to help a lot of products absorb into skin better. So this one, I picked it up, yeah, because it was on sale. I hear a lot of good things about this toner as well, and I'm kind of lacking one in my routine right now, so I wanted to pick this one up and try it out. So hopefully this works out well for my skin. And I know it's not a makeup product, but you know, Ulta does also sell skincare, so there's that one. Since we're on skincare, I'll just show you the skincare product that I picked up. And there's actually two more, but do these look familiar to you? Hmm, but... <laughs> These ones are going to be from The Ordinary, which we do sell in Canada. However, these particular products, you're only able to get them in the States or the UK. Um, and it's more so because of the ingredients. Um, so one of them is, actually I've shown you guys in this, my one of my other videos, but this one's the HA and BHA Peeling Solution. Yeah, as I've talked about in the last video, it's basically um, really good for textured skin, um, as well as acne prone skin and just overall congestions. Basically, this product is going to help with that. The next product I picked up was the Azalic Acid Suspension in 10%. Um, again, this one you can only feel, uh, find in the States and this one is really good if you have any underground acne or just acne prone skin in general. Um, it also does help brighten the skin, so if you kind of like those features, um, maybe check this one out when you go to the States. A lot of customers have been looking for actually both of these products a lot whenever I'm working at Desium and now I tell them you can find it at Ulta and obviously we do have stores in the US overall, so you can check these guys out, highly would recommend. I don't know if you would want to come to the skincare, but it is kind of like more so for maintenance and not really makeup, but this one is going to be the Creme Shop Gudetama Macaron Lip Balm with Vitamin E. Um, this one I honestly picked up on a whim because of the packaging was so cute. It's like Gudetama, who doesn't love Gudetama? And then the packaging in the back, don't be big. <laughs> it's a butt. <laughs> But yeah, this one, really cute. Um, it's in the pineapple sherbet flavor. Let's see, like I didn't even try it out at Ulta. We'll see how it smells, I guess. Also, don't mind my nails. They are kind of chipped from the weekend when I went to Seattle or the States. In fact, they are really good at opening packages though. Cute little macaron packaging. It's quite plasticky, but still really cute. Let's see. Oh yeah. It does smell like pineapple for sure. I don't know what sherbet smells like, but it smells really good, but I'm probably gonna keep this just in my purse. And if you guys need a lip balm, I haven't tried it yet, but like vitamin E is really good at like hydrating and like repairing skin. So maybe on the lips, it'll be really nice. Um, yeah, I'll probably just keep it in my purse. If you need something small and really cute, we'll would probably check this out. There's also like a Hello Kitty one and all the other Sanrio characters. The next product I'll be showing you guys is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This one, or any Morphe products, are only available in the States, I believe. You can find this one again at Ulta, and they do have an online store as well, but the reason why I picked it up is because a lot of YouTubers have been raving about it. It's a really fine mist, and if you kind of like want something really lightweight, I think, yeah, this is perfect for you. It smells really nice as well. So I believe it also not just sets up make or sets the makeup, especially when it's cakey, but it also makes your makeup last longer and just leaves a nice finish to your skin. So this one I would highly recommend. So the next product is going to be the Tarte Shape Tape. Total classic. Uh, my shade is in the light medium sand in 27S and I actually picked this one up the last time I went to Ulta and that was a year ago and I think it ran out after six months, I believe. Like I only use it like around the under eyes of, of my space. But yeah, the reason why I like this product as many YouTubers have raved about is that it's really good at 
being full coverage for sure. Um, it also prevents creasing. Um, it also just helps brighten uh, the under eye from what I've found. Would highly recommend this one here. The last product. Um, the next one is the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in the shade Candy K. The last time, we went, yeah, again, the last time when I went to Seattle or the States in general, um, they didn't have these out on display. When, when I walked in, when I went to Ulta recently, I was like, whoa, because the whole entire collection, including her skincare, was there. So I finally wanted to pick up the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit, even though it's been like three or four years since it released. Um, let's do a little swatch here. So the lip kit comes with a lip pencil and it also does come obviously with the liquid lipstick itself. And to be honest with you, I did use it in the States when I was still there because I really wanted to try it out and see how long it lasts. And it was a really long time. Um, so let's take a look at it. Let's do a little swatch here. Yeah, it's kind of like, kind of reminds me of Kat Von D's Lolita. It's like a typical like mauve pinkish shade. That's why I picked up this one. But yeah, just wanted to try it out and finally pick one up because it's not gonna be like your typical, well, for me anyways, like a typical $8, $12 um, lipstick. It was definitely more expensive, so. I got another liquid lipstick and this one is from ColourPop. Again, exclusive to the US from what I found um, or online. And this one is the Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Beeper. And the reason why I picked this one up is obviously because it's exclusive. Um, but I've heard of this particular shade being really pretty, so let's take a swatch of that as well. Yeah, it does look kind of similar to the Kylie Jenner one, but it's definitely more on the brownish mauve side, so had to pick that one up. It was a well-known shade, so we'll see how that goes on my lips. This one's a special one because it's not for myself, but I ended up picking it up. Um, the main reason why is because all the Morphe collaborations with like Jeffree Star or Jacqueline Hill on sale, but I got the James Charles palette. Um, this one I actually picked up for my sister, which by the way, if you're watching Erica, happy birthday. This was a present I got you. I hope you're liking it. Um, and the reason why I got this one for her is because it has so many different shades in one palette. So not only are you gonna get like your typical nudes and like neutrals, but you're also gonna get a bunch of colors. And sorry, Erica, I'm gonna open it on camera because I really want to show everyone. I'm pretty sure you're okay with that. Let's take a look. So it comes in a really nice matte and sleek packaging and it's huge. Let's take a look at the shades really quick. While I'm not trying to leave fingerprints or any proof that I've opened it, but dang. Yeah, she was actually eyeing on like Coastal Sense if those palettes still exist, but this one is a beautiful palette that comes with so many different shades. Again, all the main colors in the middle are kind of like good like crease colors and base colors, but yeah, hopefully she like this. If you like this, Erica, let me know. Maybe you could do some few looks with this too. Those are gonna be all the skincare and makeup products that I got at Ulta. I ended up also getting a few brushes because silly me ended up forgetting my own brushes at home when I went on the trip. I ended up having to buy more because, you know, I was actually out there for like an event, so I had to pick up some brushes to fix my face. <laughs> I ended up getting these five here. They're all from Morphe. Um, these honestly saved my life and I was on a budget by the time I got all these products in front of me. So I didn't want to buy too many brushes so I had to like pick the most multifunctional. So one of them is going to be the Morphe M105 and this is going to be like your typical powder brush. Um, I used it for powder obviously as well as contour and blush. So the next brush I ended up getting was the Morphe M501 and this is gonna be like your typical highlighter brush and I was honestly debating on whether or not to get this one because I'm like, do I really need highlight? And I was like, hell yeah, because I was going to an event so you gotta like shine up the face, you know? So this one, definitely a must have. And the next brush I ended up getting was the Morphe M421 and this is gonna like your typical concealer brush. Um, I ended up using it to carve out my eyebrows and obviously for concealing, so there's that. Self-explanatory. So this one is the Morphe M165. Yeah, the Morphe M165. <laughs> and this is like your typical angled brush and I use this more so for my eyebrows because um, you definitely need to have your eyebrows on feet. So <laughs> there's this one. Then the last one is the Morphe M503. And this is gonna be like your typical eyeshadow brush. And 
honestly, this one saved my life. Like, I didn't really want to do a crazy eyeshadow look, but it definitely is multi-purpose, so. So if you need, like, to do any look with um, a cut crease even, or if you just need a powder on, like, one single color, this will do all in one, so. Definitely pick this one up if you ever have a chance. I feel like all those brushes I could use in my kit, but I also need for myself, because I did end up using it for myself, so. Those ones are great. All right, and then the last one is also a brush, but this one's not from Morphe. It's the Real Techniques 213, and it's their foundation blender. And yeah, this one, out of those ones, like it's totally different because obviously the brand, and this one I use just for my foundation. I actually have this in a brush form like those ones, but I wanted to try Kabuki because you could definitely get that buffing motion for like the concealer or the foundation or the contour, so got this one too. Bonus time! Bonus time! <laughs> so, aside from these products that I got from Ulta, I ended up getting a couple more that are only exclusive to the US, and they're from Walmart actually. Um, it's the Cody Airspun Loose Face Highlighters. Um, so we got the 100 shade in Snow Much Ice, and the other one is in 300, the, go uh, the Glow for Gold. There you go. So glow for gold, obviously gold, and then the slow much ice is quite light. It's kind of like a very light champagne. Um, I'll do a little swatch for you guys as well here. Yeah, well, I already opened this one too because I wanted to try it out in the States, but yeah, it's definitely a really loose and pigmented highlight. I think it's more of a new product too, so I wanted to check it out, but here's a little swatch for you. This is glow for gold. So pretty. And then... So much ice. It's gonna be a bit more icy, I believe. Obviously, it's part of the name. This is so much ice right next to it. A little bit too light for me, personally. Um, but yeah, those are the two highlighting shades I got from Walmart. I'm gonna list all the prices down below in the description box. These ones were definitely under $10 US. I had to pick them up because they're definitely more on the affordable side. And I never really used a loose highlighter to begin with. I've always used like either cream or liquid or pressed powders. But yeah, I definitely had to pick these two shades up because especially I've never really tried loose highlighters. I wanted to give that a shot because I'm always used to like either liquid or like pressed powders. So we're gonna try those ones out. Let's see how those are. There's actually one more product I forgot to show you guys with the Ulta purchase, but it's just the Kiss Max Speed Nail Glue. Um, this one you can find in Canada or any place that sells Kiss Kiss lashes specifically, but um, the only reason why I got this one in the States is because on the go when I was at the event, my nails ended up breaking and I just needed to pick something up to re-glue them. So I ended up getting this. Um, and one of my coworkers actually recommended it because sometimes her nails would be lifting and I'll be like, oh my gosh, what do you use? And it was this product. If you need something to like yeah, help with lifting or if you need to re-glue nails, that's what I've done. Um, or any kind of like, even just like nail art or nail jewels, this will really help. And they will last long, and it will last on the nails forever, so there's that. But otherwise, that's everything. So if you enjoyed this video, um, or if you want me to review any of these, or talk about them more, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, like the usual. Yeah, it was really fun to share these products with you guys because I'm really excited to try them. I actually had to wait like a good week to show you guys before filming another video because I've been busy. Yeah, let me know if you want to see any more haul videos or if you want to see me review any of these. So, thank you so much.